All right, what's up, everyone? It's me, Barky. Please excuse my voice. I'm a little bit sick. Um, anyways, as you can see, I've set up a little testing arena over here to test out this new mod that we're going to be showcasing for Rimworld Beta 18 today, and that is Backup Generators, made by Damnation Limited and Herbiums 89. This is a really cool mod that adds in generators, but they're Generators in a sense, but they actually make sense in this game. So I've got uh, I think six rooms over here and at the bottom we've got two chem fuel power generators But the rest of these ones are new things. So we have the backup generator made out of which uses wood excuse me uh, Then the one that uses chem fuel then we have a mobile generator which uses chem fuel We have a backup generator that uses uranium and then a mobile generator that uses uranium I'll get into the research and stuff required to make these just now But the idea of this mod is to make generators that work in the case of a blackout or a brownout So I'm gonna go ahead and simulate a zzz Event, you know short circuit. Um, so what I've gone ahead and done now is set up a whole lot of these uh, lamps right until the end here with sun lamps on and I've got switches for in between them So you can see the power drain. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, let me go ahead and make it nighttime So that we can see this a bit clearer And I missed night time entirely. All right, there we go Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on And you can see the power drain As it lights up this beautiful little thing of lights over here. So you can see the power output for this backup wood generator is at zero watts right now. With our stored electricity at 900. So you'll see what happens. Watch this closely. As you can see we're draining energy very quickly. And suddenly it switches on to 1200. And it can maintain this many lights. I think it could probably maintain all of those. Go ahead and do that. There we go. Almost. Anyways, that is what this mod does. When it detects that you're low on electricity, it turns the generators on. And the nice thing about it is that it doesn't use too much fuel while doing so. So let's take a look at this backup generator chem fuel over here. And I'm going to go ahead and use this debug event, which is pretty much a short circuit. It empties out the batteries. So you can see zero watts. And this allows for one year and two quadrums. Short circuit that. It's just, and there we go, 2100, and suddenly this only lasts a week, which is very interesting. So then it puts out electricity very slowly. Actually, that's pretty damn fast. That's really, really good. But yeah, that is how it works, and it does the same for all of these, so we can take a look at all of them separately. Um, slowly but surely, the battery does discharge, so as you can see, there is self-discharging 5 watts. So it slowly runs out of energy to the point where the generator needs to turn on again. But it is very cool. The idea of this mod is very, very cool. And I think it's just freaking awesome that someone's actually managed to do this. So if we compare this to vanilla, because there will be some people wondering, well, what's the difference? They're just new generators. These vanilla generators um, output their max no matter what. So this um, chem fuel power generator, generator we have at the bottom over here is outputting 2,000 watts in total since there's two of them. And the battery is taking in 2,000 watts in total no matter what. So this will always be consuming fuel at its max rate. These ones will not. You can have these for quite a while. So for example, let's take the um, backup generator uranium. The fuel lasts two years right now. But the minute I uh, empty out this, you'll see nine days. And then it's back to two years. So that is what's cool about this mod. No, of course the energy won't last for two years. That, like, that would be insane. Yes, yeah, so let's turn these on. Let's see which one actually goes the distance. Alright, my game's actually lagging from this. Cool. I'm just filling these batteries up for the light show. And there we go. As you can see, we have a nice little light show. And they're all running out of power. All of them are currently outputting 0 watts each with a drain of 8,000, I think. Yeah, 8,100. And you can see them slowly start to go out. So all the batteries will reach 200 watts, which is the minimum, at the exact same time. And then we'll see which one can actually last. This one will last quite a while. Puts out 4,000, I think, for this uranium generator, which is a lot.
Oh, of course the chem fuel generators actually took the longest because they were outputting their max the entire time. All right, here we go. We're starting to see some some loss of signal. The colors are dying. Yeah, uranium one lasts the longest. I mean, it's putting out the strongest actually. Cool. So before that noise starts to irritate me too much, let's turn this off. And let's talk about the research and material requirements to get it. So there is a bit of a research um, differentiate differential to get them. I think that's the right way of using that word. Um, so for the wood one, which is this one over here, the wood backup generator, you just need a multi-analyzer to unlock the multi-analyzer research. And then for the chem fuel one, you need multi-analyzer and refining to unlock it. For the uranium ones, you need multi-analyzer and then ship reactor to unlock them. So that's pretty far ahead in the game, but it does make sense, I think, because these are incredibly strong and efficient. They are, inf they are, these things are efficient, very, very, um, and they only use one uranium, which is pretty damn strong. So then it does have a mod menu as well. Take a look at backup generators. You can set the low power threshold and the high power threshold to whatever you want it to be. This is the default, and I kept it this way because 1000 watts turns out to be one battery, which is just fantastic. But yeah, it's very interesting that this happens. Um, I could have set this to 1100 so that they would never turn off, but then that would have missed the whole point of the mod. But yeah, let's just go ahead and show you what I mean. And look, they're still on. So <laughs> ideally, you'd probably set this to like 970, oh, 970 watts if you have one battery, just a little bit under your max. Because that would make the most sense to me. But yeah, as you can see, now they're on permanently. <laughs> No matter what. Anyways, this is the mod. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think this is too strong or too weak or anything? The fact that you need a multi-analyzer makes me think it's actually kind of balanced. Because you can't get them from the get-go. And yeah, it's, I guess it's up to you. Anyways, I will put a link to the mod in the description below. Go send the mod maker some love. This is an awesome mod. Uh, it's very, very cool. Anyways, have a fantastic day, guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Hey, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It's really, really awesome of you. I've got a Discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else. And I've also opened up a Patreon page to help fund my videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and take a look at the description. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.